Welcome to Tenerife South Airport viewers. Let's take a little wander, see if anything's changed. Um, we're right down at the bottom here at gate C35 to C40. This is normally where I end up. Now remember, when you come through here, you scan your bone pass through security when you first come in, then you come through duty free, and then you have a second, well, well really the first passport check, you need to get a passport stamp down there normally, or somewhere else. So, although it looks quiet just now down there, don't be fooled, that can change really quick at Tenerife South Airport. So if you wander along half an hour before your flight, the boarding gate's about to shut, you can find a big queue uh, so down there. So, let's take a wee wander. So that's just a small duty free there. I'm going to show you where you come out when you come through the security gates anyway. Check this out. What do you think of this? I swear somebody's been packing extra stuff in my bag. It weighs a ton. I'm a bit worried about it. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I'm on the Ryanair flight back to Presswick. I was going to say Glasgow Presswick, but it should never be called that. It's Presswick Airports in Ayrshire. About 40 minutes away from Glasgow. Um, let me just check if it's on time and stuff. 1905 there. Gate displays at 17:58. So the plenty of time in it. I'm an hour and a half before the flight. I got the bus here. It costs three euros twenty, I think, from the Apollo Centre, Los Cristianos. Plane just taken off. I just missed it. Ryanair to see it. Um, yeah. So three euros twenty. The bus took took longer than normal. Took 25 minutes, 30 minutes. It did stop at a few places. Uh, one of the places in the motorway just past the car, I seen a couple of hotels and hostels. I couldn't believe that people were staying out there. Doesn't look much to do in that kind of area, but anyway, uh, just done a few videos today. Did a wee live with Daniel from TenerifeFirstExcursions.com. Check them out on YouTube and on Google. Just type in Tenerife First Excursions if you need any trips. Daniel is your man. Check it out. Uh, checked out the Commodoro in Los Cristianos. A lot of Ryanair flights getting about here. Let's check them out. Uh, Commodoro, uh, very, very basic accommodation, no aircon. I was sleeping in an oven last night. But my own fault, I should have checked more about the room before I booked it. Amazing sea view room as well. That hotel could be something special if they literally spent millions renovating it. The pool area on the promenade as well. But you've got to be comfortable in your room. If you're in Tenerife, it's over 30 degrees. You don't have aircon, you're in trouble normally. Maybe going higher with aircon unit, and there's a lot of companies doing that as well. Uh, you could be at any of these gates to be fair, so it's hard to tell where to bank on. That's where you come through from uh, security. So you'll literally walk through the big duty free. There's probably not much point getting there and showing you everything. I've done a few videos in there, it won't have changed much the prices here. We've got here to see if any of the bars or restaurants have changed, but it might just be the same. So, take a wee wander up. Now, when we get past here, I just noticed something there as well. Mango, I don't know if that was here last time. Let me know. I've not been here for seven months. Don't remember Mango being here. Maybe new. So, things might have changed. Uh, vending machines are quite handy when it's really busy. Um, you want to get rid of some of your change, you could use the vending machines. Burger King's just up the left. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to go for some tea. I know it sounds crazy. An hour and a half before the flight. I prefer just to get through the boarding gate and relax, but we'll see if we get time for something. So I'm sure that's new. Mango. Don't remember it being here. Now if the airport is very, very busy, there is normally a place at the top here, I think it's Camden. It's a lot quieter than all the other places. It's a wee tip that I've gave you in a few videos. Um, let's see anything coming in, landing, taking off, not much just now. A uh, wee bar here, there'll be no beers because just in case any of you drive, we're going to land at Presswick Airport at half past 11 and that's about half an hour drive from my house, which isn't too bad. But the only thing is, the forecast in Scotland is for a storm. So you come from glorious sunshine to a storm and it gets back to reality pretty quickly when you go back to Scotland. So. If you think I was complaining it was too hot in those videos, I was not. I was just letting you know how hot it was. I was sending me back in amongst the storm of Scotland. Is that place new? I don't know. Candy Fair? I'm not sure I remember that either. 
W Smith is up here, they've got meal deals on. Uh, remember the first video I've done in this trip, I was telling you about the taxi driver and his wee magic button. <laughs> um, pressing it at the end to add on stuff for no reason. I was speaking to Marty from Tenerife First Excursions and he was telling me they've actually done a wee TikTok on it. Uh, quite nice in there, isn't it? They've done a wee TikTok on it. And uh, you can get supplemental charges. If you phone a taxi from a hotel, I think they charge 60 cents. If they help you with luggage and put it in the back and stuff like that, they can charge you as well. Basically, if you just walk into a taxi and it's sitting there at the taxi night, there should be no additional charges. Now, I did get a taxi. I had two taxis today. One from Los Cristianos to San Eugenio Adeke to uh, Daniel's office at Terry First Excursions. And uh, the cheeky wee rascal taxi driver tried to get the magic button out again. And he tried to add on €2.70 to the fare. So as soon as he pressed it, I pointed to the button and I went, no, don't be pressing the button. And then he says, no, 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 no button. And he, and he instantly reverted back to the normal fare. Instantly. So he cost himself money because he obviously, because they tried to scam you, they're not going to get a tip. It was eight euros, 85. I just gave him nine euros because he tried to scam me. He tried to charge me 12 euros something. And then my faith was restored in taxi drivers. I got a taxi. Was that here before? I think it was. I got a taxi. Um, back the way I was doing videos and stuff, I got a taxi from Las Americas to Adeke. I'm trying to think where I got it from. It just I think it was quite near the Veronica strip. And I went in the taxi and he did not put the button on. He did not charge any extra. He only charged what was on the meter. So I gave him a good tip. So sometimes when you're not that honest with people, it can backfire because I gave the first guy what he tried to scam me in a tip and I gave the second guy about 25% tip it's a good wee spot here if you like planes taking off and landing there's a lot of people kicking about there as well so Burger King is down here understand but taxi drivers got to earn the living and maybe not on the highest of wages here I think um, it's all changed the way it operates. Sometimes they don't own a the taxi, they're just employed by the company on an hourly basis. So I completely understand the temptation for them just to add on all these charges and everything. And most, most tourists don't know about it. But now with YouTube and TikTok, etc., a lot of people are starting to get wise to it. Um, just charge an honest fee and you'll get an honest tip. But that's my opinion on it. This is the wee Irish bar in here. I can't remember the name of it. I still can't see the name of it. A nice wee bar, a couple of wee sports uh, TVs up there, a couple of things on there as well. Burger King, we've got Asian food next to it as well. Massive queue for Burger King, I'm not beginning there, I don't think. Even the, that's a queue for the terminals to self order. There's going to be no one there, you think somebody else. The bar does food, but uh, I don't know how long it takes for them. No wonder here. Now, remember I said the Camden place sometimes is a bit crazy, uh, a bit crazy, a bit quieter. I wouldn't edit that, I can't be bored. Um, a bit quieter. Let's go down and see if it is quieter because the queue for Burger King is really big. And I definitely won't have time to stand in that. Currency exchange there, the, the rates will be shocking at the airport. Um, I had to get money out one of those, see the blue and yellow ATMs that, that are absolute robbery. Daylight robbery, I had to get money out one of them the other day, it pained me because it's so shocking the exchange rate. I think it was all it was like one for one, it was so bad. But I needed money for something, so I had to just get the money out. Don't ever do that. I did mean to do another video, I'll do it next time, Terry. Showing you a bank that charged you six euros for taking money out as well, that's shocking. The Moss Christianis. It's near um near the Devron Plaza. I can't remember the name of the bank, was it BBB yeah. Bank? Ah, we'll do another video when we come back, eh? There's a wee market for you there. Eh, I didn't do any videos at the market in Los Cristianos, to be honest. It's not changed much. It's much the same. Okay, we're going to find out if it's any better here. If you're new to the channel, do me a favour, just about there. Hit the wee button. Hit subscribe. I'm carrying this bag, so I can't really do much. Hit the wee button, just down the bottom, wait a minute. Just there. If you're on your phone. If you're on your big TV, then I hope you're enjoying it. First of all. <laughs> and then secondly... Hit the wee camera icon on the left hand side. You just click OK, I'd like to subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of videos in Tenerife. I've done a lot actually at the airport because I've, I've been here millions of times. 
It's changed a tiny bit since last time I was here. What's not changed is I'm still right here, as you will easily get served here a lot quicker than all the places at Burger King. Now bear in mind, but if you have food here, you're going to have to go all the way down to the very bottom gates, lightly. Sometimes you can get lucky and get gates up here or in the middle, but give yourself plenty of time, okay? Don't make that mistake. So just a quick one today. Um, a relaxed wee walk through Tenerife South Airport. There's not much through the passport control bit. There's a couple of wee restaurants and bars now. They're tiny, there's not much in them. There's that alley hop cow again, over there. Didn't even know that. Was that here last time? Don't know. So things have changed a wee bit, but not too much. Okay, I think I went to Camden Food to see what's going on here. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you on another one. Check out all the videos in the playlist. I'll leave a link up here and you can just click on them. Binge watch and help the channel. Thanks a lot. Do I appreciate it. Bye bye.